Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Monday, August 12th, 2019. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. Right here, you'll notice that price has uh, opened right at Friday's midpoint. And after an overnight rally here was rejected, price dropped to take out the previous session's lows. This type of behavior is fairly bearish here for the most part. And again, if I draw uh, kind of a similarity here between these recent two sell-offs here, this is the May sell-off, this is the current August sell-off, uh, very clear we would be on this day right here in the pattern. That day right there where price opens here lower, comes up and sees some weakness and eventually closes below that previous low. That leads to some sideways action before we come down here and test the sell-off low. So is that the type of behavior we're going to see moving forward? Again, it's not going to be exactly the same, but it is uncanny how very similar these two sell-offs have uh, played out. For the most part, we've had a very significant sell-off with a bounce back to the midpoint of that range. We now have ourselves a very clear key range that is now in play. These three levels are very, very important moving forward. Uh, but with lower highs here and lower lows over the last couple of days, it's going to be important here to see if price can continue to hold above 2900 If not, there could be, be a deep pullback here to either retest the lows or very close to it, if not full out surpass those lows to go and take out that June low. So again, it's going to be interesting to see if we can hold the 2900 level here. If not, it could be much, much more weakness to go. Now on an intraday basis, uh, there is a little bit of a range that is formed near lows. If price can get above 29.05, that could open up a bit of a bounce back towards, say, 29.15. Uh, but that could be an opportunity for bears to pile on and short for ahead of another push lower. All right, let's take a look at the NQ. You'll see here with the NQ, very similar price action. Again, this is what I mentioned to our group in the trading room on Friday. If price were to open at or around the midpoint of Friday's range, as it did here, uh, that could signal weakness to come. Price rallied into 7,700 and saw weakness and is now back to 7,614s. And uh, again, taking out the recent low, there's a, a failed new low on that previous low that bounced price up a little bit. Again, if we see a push back above 7,620, there could be a bounce back towards 7,650 on an intraday basis but that could open up another opportunity for bears to sell. So if price cannot hold 7,600 here again, we could be looking at a deep pullback, either to retest this low or to perhaps surpass that low and gun for the June low. So again, this is gonna be very important to see if price can continue to hold 7,600. We do have a very important key range that is now in play here, and that's gonna give us great boundaries moving forward to use both in our analysis and trading. All right, let's take a look now at crude oil. Crude oil here had uh, a squeeze on Friday, a very nice squeeze on Friday. We had a rejection at the key range low here at the 50-60 level, uh, got as low as 50-52, price bounced, and we saw a uh, an absorption day here right off the midpoint, a stop run day on Friday, and now we're seeing a retest right at the midpoint of that range that's holding. And that would be mostly bullish behavior. That would be bullish type of price action. We are still seeing uh, signs of weakness overall. We've seen this thing break to the downside here. We're now testing the Pima trigger zone. So you have the 8 period average here, the 21 period average here that are sloping down. And anytime price pushes into that zone in a down move, it can be an opportunity for bears to, again, pile on. So it's going to be interesting to see if it, price can hold that zone. But for right now, the current low of the day, call it 53.60, that zone right there is very important. If it can continue to hold that zone, there could be more upside ahead. Uh, and, and even if price were just to kind of sit here and trade between 53.50 and 54.40, that could be an opportunity for the next day to show some strength. So again, going to see if price can continue to hold below 55s or does price push back above that zone. If it does, it could be open air back toward 57s. All right, let's take a look lastly at gold futures. Gold futures here, uh, again, very, very bullish overall. 
we had a, a narrow range that developed throughout the month of July. We mentioned before that that compression there could lead to a breakout in August. Uh, this outside day was very bullish here and opened up more strength to the upside. We have reached, for all intents and purposes, our 1525 target. I mentioned before that there could be a potential pullback, even as deep as 1460, and that could provide a buying opportunity for an attempt to push through 1525s. Uh, right now, any pullback as deep as 1460 could be a buying opportunity. Right now, we do have a range that's developed at highs over the last four days. Failed new load developing today, but it's clear that prices are not really finding much acceptance above 1520 at the moment. So uh, with, with this type of range here, we could see a breakout in either direction. But again, if we were to pull back, that could provide a little bit of a pullback buying opportunity ahead of what could be a push through 1525s. Now again, I mentioned before, above 1525 really has no upside resistance until you get to about 1800. So it could be a major continuation over the next couple of months if it can get above 1525. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the week of trading. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.